Okay, so hi, good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening. Good, good evening. Good evening. How are you? How was your day? Good. So, so. Mm -hmm. good. Catherine. Okay, good. And how do you feel? Do you feel good, happy? Good evening. Good evening, Christian. Good evening, Tania. Good evening. Okay, guys. Then we are going to start with today's class. And today we have different things to do. All right. And we are going to start with the quote of the day. Okay. So today, help us reading the quote, Marco. Uh the code of the of the day optimism is essential to archivement and it is also the foundation of uh, courage and uh, progress thank you okay so yes the quote of the day it is optimism is essential to achievement and it is also the foundation of courage and true progress. Optimism, okay? So we should be always optimistic, okay? Always happy. You should be happy most of the time, okay? You know, it will help you to true progress, right? True progress. Okay, guys, so today's agenda, we have warm up, then we are going to start with vocabulary, we have grammar, we have practice time, we have exercises, and we have the warm up, right? In this case, the wrap up, the end of the class, okay? Then, guys, we are going to start with the simple present review, review. Okay, do you remember it, uh, that we studied simple present yesterday? So today we are going to continue with that, the same topic, okay? So instructions, unscramble the following affirmative and negative statements, okay? Unscramble, unscramble. Make sure to begin your sentence with a capital letter and type a period at the end. Okay, so what I want you to do is that I need you to type and send it to the chat, okay? Sentence number one, unscramble it and send it in the chat, which is the first sentence. Unscramble the sentence and send it in the chat, in the chat. And it says, be careful with capital letter and type a period at the end, okay? Remember, capital letter and period to indicate that the sentence has finished. Okay, so I need you to send the first one to the chat. Create the sentence, unscramble the sentence and send it in the chat, in the chat. Send it in the chat. Number one, the first one. Okay, so let's see. They don't have breakfast every day at 5 a.m. Okay, so they don't have breakfast at 5 a.m. every day. They don't have breakfast every day at 5 a.m. They don't have breakfast at 5 a.m. every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good punctuation, Tanya. Okay, very good, Erebin. Mm, let me see, Christian, be careful. You need to start with the capital letter, 
Letra mayúscula al principio en period y punto y final. ¿Ok? Do not forget. Let's see, Erika. They don't have breakfast at 5 a.m. every day. ¿Ok? Very good. Excellent, Erika. Ok, now, number two. Number two. Unscramble it and send it. Number two. Number two. They don't have breakfast at 5 a.m. every day. Yes, period. The period, Tanya. Period. Period. Ok. Punto y final. Period. El punto. You take the bus every day. You take the bus every day. You take the bus every day. Very good, Ervin. Yes. Very good. Uh -huh. Ok. Excellent, Erika. Number three. Number three. Excellent, Christian. Number three. Hmm? Number three. Let's see. That one is long, right? That one is long. Number three. Okay, let's see. Sarah and Josue study English from Monday to Friday. Okay. Sarah and Josue study English from Monday to Friday. Sarah and Josue study English from Monday to Friday. Okay. Um, Yvette, very good. Uh, Erebin, good. Marco, good. Okay, observation, observation. Look at the, at the, at the days uh, of the week. So M, capital letter. F, capital letter. English, E, capital letter. Why? Because those are proper nouns, nombres propios. In English, They go with a capital letter. Van con letra mayúscula. Los nombres propios. Okay? So, English is a proper noun. Friday is a proper noun. Monday is a proper noun. Okay, number four. Number four. Let's see. Number. We do not take a shower at 4 a.m. Excellent. We do not take a shower at 4 a.m. Perfect. Arabian. Perfect, Tanya. Excellent. Now the last one, number five. Oh my God, you are really good. You are really good. Number five, the last one. Last one. Mm. No, Erwin. Mm -mm. I clean my bathroom every day. Day. Irma, okay, I clean. Mm. Okay, so Irma, yes, but you you forgot period. Period at the end. Uh, I clean my bedroom every day. Erica, that was perfect. Erica, that is perfect. Perfect. Yes. Look at uh, at the one that Erica sent. I clean my bed, mm, bedroom, just one R, just one R, no two, just one, Irma, okay? And period at the end, don't worry, okay? All right, but most of you got that one correct. You see, I clean my bedroom every day, period, Yvette, period, period, okay? El punto final. Yes, don't forget, okay? Do not forget about the period. Que no se les olvide nunca, okay? Yes, because in the exam, in the exam, por el puntito va a estar malo si se le olvida. Okay? So don't forget about that. Don't forget. Teacher, no tengo cámara. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Let's continue, okay? Was it easy or difficult? Easy or difficult? Was this easy or difficult? Mm -hmm. difficult. Number three. 
Okay, number three was kind of difficult because it's long, because it's really long, right? But okay, you did a very good job, okay? It was good. Okay, now let's start by talking about connectors of sequence, connectors, okay, of sequence. So we have first, repeat after me, okay? So first, second, third, next, later, after that, then, and finally. So when do we use connectors of sequence? When? Cuando? When do we use them? Cuando lo utilizamos? When? When? Well, as the name says, connectors of sequence is when, uh, is when we have different activities and we want to say, for example, First, I wake up. Second, I take a shower. Third, I go to work. Next, I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Later, I go home. After that, I have dinner. Then I receive English classes. And finally, I go to bed. So you follow the sequence. Yeah. You follow the sequence with the connectors. Yes. This help you. Uh, this help you. Estos conectores les ayudan para no sonar solamente como con oraciones, sino sonar más fluidos, right? So you are going to get more fluency with connectors, okay? And then we have a speaking time with your daily routine. So what is your daily routine? Yeah? What do you do every day? What do you do every day? For example, if I ask you, what do you do every day? You need to remember that I am asking you about your daily routine. Okay? So if someone asks you, okay, si alguien le pregunta, if someone asks you, what do you do every day? Is the same, es lo mismo que le estén preguntando, what is your daily routine? As you can see right here. Si usted escucha o lee o ve, what do you do every day? Or what is your daily routine? Le están preguntando por su rutina diaria. Okay. So the other question, la otra que le estoy mencionando es esta. What do you do every day? Okay. What do you do every day? And if you want to sound better, if you want to sound better, you can say, what do you do every day? What do you do every day? Or what do you do every day? Hace un sonido de R. What do you do every day? Or what do you do every day? You decide, okay? And yes, as gusto. Okay. Now, we're going to practice for, let me see, what time is it? It's 8.14. Okay, so I need two volunteers. I need two volunteers. Two volunteers. Uh -huh. Two volunteers to practice speaking here. Who wants to participate? Raise your hand. Okay, Erica, you are A. Erica, letter B, Suleima. Okay. 
Erika, you are A. Let it be Suleima. Go. Uh, where's a uh, wipe, wipe up? Uh, um, ah, yes. Yeah. Let it A. Hello. Hello. Uh, no. No. Erika, you are letter A and Suleima is letter B. So, Erika, you are going to say, hello, Suleima. What is your daily routine? Hello, Suleima. What is your day routine? Hello, my day routine is first, I wear at 5 a.m. Second, I get dressed. Third, I take the a bath. Next, I write at work. I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Later, I go home. After that, I had dinner at 7 p.m. Then I read English class from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Finally, I go to bed. What about you? No, what sorry. about you, Erica? Erica. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Selena. Now, yes, Erica, your turn. Well, um, he hello, my daily routine is first, I wake, wake up uh, by E.M. A.M. Mm -hmm. Second, I get dressed. Third, I take the bus. Mm -hmm. Next, I arrive at work. Mm -hmm. I work from 8, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yes. Later, I go home. After that, I have dinner at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Then I receive English class from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Finally, 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 I go to bed. Okay, thank I you. I go to bed. Thank you, Erica. Good job. Okay, so before we go to the breakout rooms we are going to practice pronunciation because I need you to pronounce this in a good way. So listen, listen and take notes, okay, about pronunciation. So, first, first, okay? No fears, first, first. Second, first, Next, later, after that, then, finally. Now, receive, receive, English classes, English classes, yeah, I have Dinner, dinner, okay, wake up, I wake up, wake up, get dressed, get dressed, okay, arrive, dinner, receive, classes, bed. Okay, before going um, to the breakout rooms, I'm going to take attendance. Okay, I'm going to take attendance. So, Brian Antonio Castro Molina. Okay, Christian Marcelo Ramirez Morán. Present. Thank you. Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrias. 
Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Thank you. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. Okay. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Present. Thank you. Ervin Francisco Peraza Herrera. Present. Thank you. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Thank you. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. Present. Thank you. José Enrique Siliesar Alas. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Ebra. Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Present. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Present. Thank you. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Present. Thank you. Zuleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Okay. So now let's move. Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms. Remember, okay, one is going to be letter A and the other one is going to be letter B. And then the one that was letter A will be letter B and so on, okay? So if you have questions about pronunciation, ask, okay? So let me create the breakout rooms. Give me one second. Um, okay. So there you go. Number. Okay, so I'm going to move. Arima, Ervin, Yvette, you go with Johnny. Liliana, you go with Luis. Marcelo, okay, I think you have two, two devices connected. So Tanya, you are with Suleyma. And Marco, you go with Christian Marcelo. Okay, yes. Oh, Liliana, 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 or Okay. Hello, right. oh, yes. So how are you? Hello. Hello, Erbin. Hello, Irma. How are you? Um, you're good. Hello. Okay, so how, how about your day? How was it? Tiring? Or it was good? What is tiring? Tiring is when the day was consumo cansado el día. Tiring. Tiring. Mm -hmm. Tiring. Yeah, tiring. tiring. Tiring every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tiring every day. Yes. Okay. Sometimes it's really, I would say, tiring. <laughs> I understand that. Yes. Okay. Very good. Did you eat already? Did you eat already? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right, so start um, practicing, okay? Start practicing. Okay, yo lo tengo abierto, no sé si. Sí, ya. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Hello. Eh, teacher, ¿me podría mandar el link de la conversación? Lo que pasa es que como no tengo la compu, no lo puedo encontrar con el teléfono. Ah, ok, yes, of course, I can send it to you. Give me one second, ok. Let me see, so, conversation. Ok. That is the, the document, Tanya. Okay. okay, open it. Okay, let me see. Let me see with that. Gracias. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Very good. Hello, Yvette. Hola, estaba solita. <laughs> yeah, I saw that you were alone. <laughs> yes, I think that, I don't know if you were with Luis, but I think that, that he just um, logged out. Creo que se salió con el que está usted practicando. Bye. Okay, don't worry. Liliana, are you there? Yes. Okay. So I think that you can both practice, okay? You can practice. Okay, so one is letter A and the other one is letter B. You decide. Mm -hmm. A. Okay, Liliana, start. Okay. Hello. Uh, el nombre de ella. Ay, lo siento. Okay. Ah, perdón, perdón. Hello, Yvette. What is your day routine? Hello, my daily routine is first, I wake up at 5 a.m. Second, I grab dresses. Third, I take the bath. Mm -hmm. Next, I arrive at work. I work from 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Later, I go home. Mm -hmm. After that, I have dinner at 7 a.m. Okay. Then I receive English classes from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Finally, I go to bed. What about you, Liliana? Mm -hmm. Hello, my darling routine is first I wake. Uh, pardon, ¿cómo, me, ¿cómo dijo teacher que se decía? Wake up. Uh, hello. I, pardon. First, I wake up at five. Um, ¿Cómo se dice AM? AM. AM. Second, I get dressed. Third, I take the bus. The next, I ride at work. I work from AM to. Five IPM, ¿cómo se dice? PM. PM. Later, I go home. After day, I have dinner at the 7 p PM. They are racing English class of 8 PM. ¿Cómo se dice? PM. PM. PM, PM to 10 p.m. Uh -huh. Finally, fin ¿cómo se dice final? Finally. Finally, uh -huh. I go to be. I go to bed. I go to bed. Okay, pronunciation, okay, pronunciation. I get dressed. Dressed. Okay, with a T. Dress. I get dressed. Dress. Yes, dress. Now this one, receive. 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 Very good. Okay, so now Johnny and Yvette, you practice, okay? Practice. And then with Liliana. Yes? Okay. I start practicing. I'm going to a different room to check what they are doing, okay? Please continue. Continue. Oh, excuse me, teacher. Um, 
Uh, diner, ¿qué es su significado? Oh, dinner, dinner. Diner, dinner. Dinner is cena. Ah, perdón. No, no. Ok, gracias, teacher. Thank you. Um, after that, I have a dinner at 6 p.m. Then I receive an English classroom from uh, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Finally, I go to bed. What about you, Marcelo? First, I uh, wake up at uh, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, second, I get dressed uh, three at uh, say the uh, bus. The bus. Next, uh, pardon? The bus. Ah, okay. The bus. Next, I arrive at work. I work for uh, 8 p.m. Uh, to 5 p.m. Later, I go home. After that, I have dinner at uh, 7 p.m. They are received English graphs for 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Finally, I got to be to bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Finally. 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 Arrive. 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 Right, algo así. Yes. Right. Okay. Right. Thank. Bus. Bus. English classes. English English classes. Classes. English classes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to move Marcelo to a different room, and I'm going to bring somebody else. Okay. So let me move Marcelo right now. You go to room. Let me see number two, and I'm going to bring everything with you. Eh, teacher yes. Castro, uh, creo que Brian acaba de escribir en el grupo que no se ha quemado un transformador en el oh. no hay energía. Oh, okay. I haven't seen the group. Okay, no he visto el chat, pero gracias. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so you are going to practice with Eribin. Eribin, are you there? Yes. Hi, Eribin. Hi. Mm -hmm. Okay, ahorita. Okay. Ready? Ready? <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, okay. 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 Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, see? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm yes. going to move uh, Tanya with uh, room number three, and I'm going to bring Yvette with you, Suleima. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring Yvette. Hello, Suleima. What is your daily routine? Hello, my daily routine is first, I get up at 5 a.m. Second, I get dressed. Third, I take the bath. Next, I write at work. I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Later, I go home. After that, I have dinner at 7 p.m. Then, I raise English classes from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Finally, I go to bed. What about you? 
Tell us, my, my daily routine is, first, I wear up at 5 a.m. Second, I get dressed. Third, I stay the bus. Next, I arrive at court. I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Later, I go home. After that, I have dinner at 7 p.m. Then I receive English classes for 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Finally, I go to bed. What about you? It's a mark. Oh, okay. So, it's a mark. I wake up at 5 a.m. Second, I get dressed. I get okay. dressed. Third, I take the bus. Next, I, I arrive at work. I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Later, I go home. After that, I have dinner at 7 p.m. Then I receive English classes. Okay. From 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And finally, I go to bed. Now, pronunciation. Repeat after me and say dress. 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 Okay. Arrive. 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 Receive. Receive. English classes. English classes. <laughs> like that. English classes. Okay, now, once again. Una vez más, pero quiero escucharlas con las correcciones que les acabo de hacer. Okay. okay. Go. <laughs> Okay. okay, go, Yvette, A, and then B, Suleyma. Hello, Suleyma. What is your daily routine? Hello, my daily routine is first, I get up at 5 a.m. Second, I get dressed. There, I take, ¿cómo dijo? I take the bus. I take the bus. Yes, bus. Next. I arrive at work. I work I, on. I arrive. Arrive. I arrive at work. Mm -hmm. I work from a a.m. to five p.m. Mm -hmm. Later, I go home. After that, I have dinner at seven p.m. Then, I raise the English classes. Class. From classes. From 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Finally, I go to bed. Yes. What about you, Yvette? Hello, Selema. My daily routine is first, I wake up at 5, at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Second, I get dressed. Third, I direct the bus. Mm -hmm. Next, I arrive at work. I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Later, I go home. After that, I have dinner at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Then I receive English classes from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Finally, I go to bed. Perfect. Okay. Do you have questions about vocabulary? No. No, no, everything is clear. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right. So let me call you back to the main room because we are going to continue, okay, with the class. Give me one second, okay? Give me one second. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's listen to some of you. Um, letter A, first Erima, letter B, Eribin. Oh, Irma, we don't we don't hear you. Okay. 
Hello, Irving. What's your day routine? Hello. My daily routine is first, I wear up at 5 a.m. Second, I have dressed. There, I take the bus. Nate, I read, I work. I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Later, I go home. After that, I have dinner at 7 p.m. Then I receive English class from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Finally, I go to bed. What about you, ¿Qué Irma? Significa? I don't worry. No se preocupe. ¿Qué significa? Okay, Irma. Uh, hello, my door routine is the first. I wake up at 5 a.m. Second, I get dressed. Right. Third, I take the bus. Mm -hmm. Next, I read a word, a word from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Later, I go home. After that, I have dinner at 7 p.m. Then I re re receive. Receive English class from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Finally, I got to her. Okay, so repeat after me and say finally. Finally. Yes. Okay, this is in general, okay? Just listen to the pronunciation of these uh, verbs and also words, okay? Wake up. Wake up. Get dressed, get dressed, arrive, arrive, receive, receive, first, second, third, okay? So now, eh, Marco, letter A, and Erika, letter B. Hello, Erika. What is your daily routine? Hello, my daily routine is first I wait way up wait wait up wake up at five AM second I get dressed third I take the bus mm -hmm. next I arrive at work. I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Later, I go home. After that, I have dinner at 7 p.m. Then I receive English class from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Finally, I go to bed. What about you? Mm -hmm. What about you, Marco? What about you? Oh, Marco? Yeah. Marco, I think that you are muted. We cannot hear you. I uh, but, uh, first, I wake up at 4 a.m. Second, I get dressed. Did I take the bus? Next, I arrive at work. I work from 6 a.m. at 4 p.m. Later, mm -hmm. I go home. After that, I have dinner at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Then I receive English class from uh, 8 p.m. at 10 p.m. Finally, uh, I go to bed. Okay, repeat after me and say arrive. 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 And then from? From? Two. 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 Okay. Two. Yes, thank you. Okay, Johnny. Johnny, letter A. Tanya, letter B. Hello, Tanya. What is your daily routine? Uh, hello, my daily routine is first I what up at uh, 5 a.m. Second, I get dressed. Uh, there, I uh, take the bus. 
uh, next uh, arrive at work, uh, work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Later I go home. After that I have dinner at 7 p.m. Uh, then I receive English class from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Finally, I go to bed. What about you? No me acuerdo su nombre. Johnny. <laughs> okay. And my daily routine is the first I wake up at 5 a.m. The second I get a dressed. The third I take the bus. Next, I arrive at work. I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Later, I go to home. I go home. After that, I have dinner at 7 p.m. Then I receive English class from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Finally, I go to bed. Perfect. Okay. So now, okay, just remember, okay, once again, get dressed, arrive, receive, okay? Don't forget about that. Now, let's move. As we studied yesterday, we studied common verbs. Do you remember about those verbs? Yes? Then, just for you to remember and recall what we covered yesterday, we have sleep, work, go, speak, use, like, know, play, brush, Take, drive, okay? Study, wake up, wake up, shave, shave, take a shower, have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner, drink, get dressed, get dressed. Clean. Okay. So now today, today we are going to start with third person. Okay. So yesterday we studied I, you, we, and they. Today we are going to study he, she, and it. He, she, and it. Okay. And as you can see, we have the title, Sandra's Daily Routine. Sandra's Daily Routine. What is her daily routine? What is her daily routine? What is Sandra's daily routine? Who can tell me? Who can help us reading this? Somebody? Raise your hand. Let me see. Mm, thank you, Irving. Monday? Yes, read it. Okay. She wakes at 6 a.m. She eats breakfast at 8 a.m. She goes to work at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. She is studying English at 10 a.m. She she has lunch at uh, 12. Uh, 12 noon. 12 noon. She goes home at uh, 3 p.m. Yeah. She does her homework at 5 p.m. She cooks dinner at 7 p.m. She goes to bed at 11 p.m. Thank you. Okay, guys, let me ask you. 
what is the difference that you see from the previous one? ¿Qué diferencias hay aquí de la que vimos ayer? El goes y el does, does, algo así. Ok, goes and does. Ok. Y cooks. Cooks. Ajá. What else? ¿Qué más? Eight. Yes, ok. So, as you can see, we have the letter S. Look at this. We don't have wake. We have wakes. It goes, studies, has. Ya no tenemos have, ahora tenemos has. Goes, does, cooks, goes, de nuevo. So if you notice, si se fija, the verb changes, el verbo cambia. Why? ¿Por qué? Why? Because we are talking about she. Okay? So, remember this. And this is a rule. Esa es una regla. When you use, cuando se utilice he, she, and it, el verbo va a cambiar cuando sea oración positiva. Ok. So now, let's start grammar. And we have simple present tense, third person, tercera persona. Ok. Third person. So we have subject, Positive sentence or positive statement. Positive, subject, verb in present, and complement. That is the structure. She works every day. En la oración positiva, el verbo va a cambiar y le vamos a poner S o e S. O podemos cambiar otras reglas que la vamos a ir cubriendo poco a poco. Ok. But what you need to remember is that a la mayoría de verbos se les pone S. In the positive sentence. En la oración positiva. Nada más. Ok. So now. We have auxiliary verbs, as you can see right here. Auxiliary verbs. He, she, and it. Esos son nuestros subjects. Those are our subjects. And which are the auxiliary verbs for he, she, and it? Does, does not, and doesn't. The contraction. Esa es la contracción. Ok. So, let's go to negative. Subject. Auxiliary verb. Verb in present. And complement. She does not work every day. Ok. So, as you can see. We didn't add S. No agregamos la S. Why, teacher? Because we have auxiliary verbs. Porque tenemos verbos auxiliares. Okay. ¿En cuál es la única oración que le va a agregar S al verbo? ¿En cuál dije? En la oración. Positivo. Positive. Positive sentence. Muy bien. Negative, no se le agrega la S. Okay. And then we also have the contraction. She doesn't work every day. Usted decide si utiliza la forma larga o la forma corta, que es la contracción. Pero sea cuidadoso. Mire dónde va el apóstrofe. 
en el medio between N and T. En medio de la N y la T. No va antes de la N. Va en el medio, in the middle, en medio, in the middle de la N and the letter T. Okay? And then we also have questions. Auxiliary verb, subject, verb in present, complement, and question mark. El signo de interrogación. Question mark. Okay? So, and here in the question, we use does. Look at this. Does. Does she work every day? Does she work every day? And we do not add the letter S. No letter S. Why, teacher? Because we have auxiliary verb. Because we have auxiliary verb, does. And if I ask you, does she work every day? Si le pregunto, does she work every day? Yes, coma, she does. No, coma, she doesn't. Okay. Questions? Doubts? Questions? Questions? No questions? Not right now? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. So now, okay, as you can see, that's why we have she, right? She here, and we have wakes, eats, because all of them, all of those sentences are positive. All of them are positive sentences, all of them. Okay. All right, let's go. Then um, don't forget about the structure. Okay. No se le olvide la estructura. Okay. Do not forget about that. And now let's see. Exercises. Positive sentence. She. Has breakfast. Has breakfast at 6 a.m. Negative. She does. She does. Doesn't. 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 Doesn't have. Has a breakfast okay. at 6 a.m. 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 Yes. I need to explain something, okay? So in English, we have have and has. See? We have have and has. Okay? But you need to remember this. So if we say she has breakfast at 5 a.m. Okay, for example. But when we use the auxiliary verb, cuando utilizamos el verbo auxiliar, we say she doesn't have. Teacher, ¿por qué no le ponemos has? Porque como llevamos el auxiliar, tenemos que poner el verbo en su forma base. She doesn't have breakfast at 5 a.m. Yes? Positive, negative. Okay. 
Do you have questions? Now, right now, let's move to the other one. Positive sentence. He. Mm -hmm. He. He ate at he, 6 a.m. Okay. He, he ate or he eats? He eats. Very good. He eats at 6 a.m. And negative? Negative sentence? Uh, he does, doesn't? Doesn't? Uh, eight at six a.m. Eight or eat? Eat. Eat. Okay, so he doesn't eat at six a.m. Very good, Tanya. Okay, next. She. Uh huh. Erica. She 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 has a sleep as she no. sleep she is asleep or sleeps sleep. Mm, okay, let's see, Irvin. She sleeps at 6 a.m. A.m. A.m., sorry. Yeah, thank you. And the negative, Irvin? She does not sleep in, no, go ahead, sleep at 6 a.m. Okay, Erica, positive. She sleeps at 6 a.m. In the negative? She sleeps negative. at... She doesn't sleep at 6 a.m. A.m. Very good. Next, Suleyma. He studies at 6 a.m. And he do, does not study at 6 a.m. A.m. Perfect. A.m. Okay. Yvette. He Take, uh, what does it say? Take it. How do you say? Mm -hmm. How do you say? Aha, la pregunta en inglés. Okay, so, uh, take a shower. Take a shower. Ah, thank you. I take a shower. It's 6 a.m. Oh, okay. So, he take or he takes? Take. Mm, are you sure, Yvette? Tercera persona. Third person. He. He. Take a shower. Take or takes. 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 Tercera persona. La S. Take that. Six a.m. Okay. Negative. Okay. Hi. He. He does doesn't take doesn't take a shower at six a.m. at at yes at okay at. thank okay. you Marcelo he he asks at six a.m. No, sería, 
he is a day boss uh, at 6 a.m. Mm, are you sure, Marcelo? He. He, okay, he. Ahora va el verbo. He. He has. Mm, has. Mm, no. Uh, no. ¿Cuál es el verbo de tomar un bus? Eh, take. Ok, so he. He take a bus at 6 a.m. Ok, so now I'm asking, Marcelo, is it he take or he takes? He take. Are you sure? Sorry. Are you sure? ¿Estás seguro? Tercera eh, persona, Marcelo. No, es six. Six. Uh -huh. Ok, so, again, again, positive. Ok. He uh, take, takes a bus at 6 a.m. Ok, the negative. Uh, he does not uh, take at uh, 6 a.m. Okay, he doesn't take a bus at 6 a.m. Okay, all right, so uh, next, can you please help us, um, Eric? Eric, next. I don't know if, yes, he is there. She is starting okay. at 6 a.m. Okay, negative. She doesn't mm -hmm. study at 6 a.m. Okay, so yes. Remember, she is studies, right? Studies? She studies. Yes, and the negative was correct. She doesn't study. Very good. Yes. Okay. All right. So then the last one. The last one, uh, Irma. Um, it, uh, no lo recuerdo. You don't remember? Okay. Somebody else that remembers the verb? Uh, play. Play. Mm -hmm. Play. Ah, okay. Play. Thank you. It, okay. it played by the bar. Okay. It doesn't, doesn't. The play with the ball. Okay, so now let me ask you: Is it it play or it plays? Play. Are you sure? Uh, Third person. Third person. Tercera persona. Yeah, play. Plays. Play. Esa S tiene que sonar. Play. Place. Play. Place. Place. Mm -hmm. With the ball. With the ball. Okay. And it doesn't play with the ball. Okay, guys. So now let's do something. Okay. I need you to create two sentences with those verbs. Ok. Necesito que cree dos oraciones y las mande al chat. Tercera persona. Dos oraciones. Una positiva y una negativa. One positive and one negative. Respete los signos de puntuación. Ok. Punto y final a la oración y mayúscula cuando inicie su oración. Ok. Una positiva y una negativa. Terceras personas. Terceras personas. 
Okay, let me see. He sleeps. Okay, Erwin. Sleep es, ok, sin la E que me le puso después de la P. Y el punto y final. Tania, uh, she uses the phone. Very good, but you forgot the period, el punto y final. He makes delicious cakes. Perfect, Erica. Yes. She studies at 6 a.m. Very good, Suleima. Now negative. Another one, but negative. Another one, but negative. She uses the computer. Excellent, Marcelo. Liliana, she play. Liliana, she plays every day without the letter E, sin esa E. It brush every day. Okay, so it brush, it brushes. He doesn't play soccer. Yes, Suleima, but period. El punto y final. El punto y final en esa oración. Otra, Suleima. She doesn't... She doesn't use the phone. Yes, Tania. Marco. She works at 10 p.m. She doesn't... Mm, Marco, you were missing the verb. Le falta el verbo en la negativa. She doesn't use iPad. Very good, Marcelo. Irma, it brushes, it brushes. Ese es uno de los que utilizamos ES, a los que le ponemos ES. He speaks languages, yes. He doesn't take a shower every day. Tania, period. El punto y final, Tania. El punto y final. She doesn't drive to work. Yes, Erika, very good. She doesn't drive. Liliana, very good, but don't forget. Está bien, solamente que no se le olvide. Letra mayúscula cuando estemos iniciando una oración. Okay. She plays with video games. Okay, Eric. Plays sin esa E. Solamente se le agrega la S. You use A, the letter S. You just add the letter S. She plays with video games. She doesn't speak languages. Johnny, remember that when we have the negative, we do not add the letter S. No letter S. No letter S. I'm sorry, he doesn't take a shower every day. Yes, Tanya. She doesn't work. Marco, remember the letter S? No. No letter S because we have auxiliary verb. Recuerde que la letra S es solo y única y exclusivamente se le agrega a la oración positiva. A las negativas y a las preguntas no se les agrega nada. Se deja el verbo en su forma base. Erema, lo mismo. Le está agregando la ES y no se le debe de agregar porque es una oración negativa. She sleep at 8 p.m. Yvette, yes. She takes a bus at 6 a.m. She doesn't take a bus at 6 a.m. Very good. She doesn't... Eric, le falta el verbo, Eric. Ok. Speak, ok, John. She doesn't, Eric, le falta el verbo. Solo he puesto she doesn't y el verbo. She doesn't drink every day, ok, Ivet. Now, send a question. Ahora envíeme una pregunta. Now, send a question. Send a question. Send a question. She doesn't play. She doesn't play with vitamins. Yes. Doesn't he? Um, does she drink water? Tanya, correct. Marcelo, no. 
Again, try again. Again, Marcelo. Does she drink water? Yes. Does she clean every day? Yes, Yvette. Very good. Erwin, uh, does she study every day? Mm, question mark, Erwin, the question mark. Does she work at 9 p.m.? Yes, Irma. Okay, Erwin. Mm -hmm. Doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Okay, but that is a negative. Look at the structure, Marcelo. Mira la estructura como va. Auxiliary verb does. Subject. Verb. And complement. Okay, Eric, does she walk today? Okay. Does he eat breakfast? Mm -hmm. Liliana, does he work on Sunday? On. Para decir el, el domingo decimos on Sunday. On Sunday. Does he work on Sunday? Does she dance every month? Yes, Erika. Does she... Mm, Marco, le falta el verbo. Does she... Mm -hmm. Does he... Okay. Marcelo, esa A que le pone antes del verbo, no. Okay. Eso no es un nombre, es un verbo. Entonces, la letra A no va. Adelante. Okay. Does he sleep every night? Okay. Does she study? Yes, Liliana. Very good. Okay. What questions do you have? ¿Qué preguntas tiene? About the simple present. What questions do you have? Yo tengo una. Es que yo aún quizás no he entendido exactamente el, el por qué es tercera persona. Si, sí, digamos, para decir también que te capaz no es lo mismo decir eh, el si das el, el cómo, o sea, no sé si me explico. Eh, eh, digamos, si yo digo, si yo digo. Eh, el, el que explicó, she works every day, uh -huh. no es lo mismo como decir she works nada más every day, o sea, siempre habla sobre ella, ¿o no? No. Um, ok, so you mean like, si le quitamos la S. Ajá. Si lo dejamos normal, como está, no. para Ajá. todos los, los pronombres. Correcto. Ajá. Ok, so, well, First of all, that is not possible, ¿verdad? Eso no es posible porque el inglés tiene sus reglas. Entonces tenemos que pues, seguirlas. Ahora, ¿por qué no se hace y por qué no solo ponemos el work? ¿verdad? Porque recordemos que estamos conjugando. Ella trabaja. Ella trabaja todos los días. So she works every day. Si solo dejamos she work every day sin la S, entonces dice... Ella trabajar todos los días. Ah, oh, ok. Sí, yo tenía esa duda. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. So, tenemos que ponerle la S. Porque si no, es como que estuviésemos hablando, eh, pues, sin tener eh, como conocimiento gramatical. Incluso en nuestro español. Nosotros, nosotros decimos, ella trabaja en eh, Miniso. Right? No decimos, ella trabajar en mí mismo. No, right? Entonces, eso es el switch que todos tenemos que hacer y adaptarlo a nuestro español para que no les cueste eh, mucho. ¿Ok? Now, obviously, tiene que aprenderse las reglas, ¿verdad? Que eso, pues, en el, en el trayecto se va aprendiendo. Don't worry. ¿Ok? So we have more examples. ¿Eso resuelve su duda, Irvin? 
Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. My pleasure. Somebody else? Alguien más? Questions? Recuerde que el día de ahora tiene que terminar tareas 6 y 7. Y es acerca de todo lo que estamos viendo. Okay. Questions? 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 No questions? No doubts? No? Okay. So then, um, Yvette, help us reading affirmative statements and Johnny, negative statements. She makes many phone calls. High carries boxes into the truck. Mm -hmm. Cindy sends reports to other companies. Yes. It helps workers be on time. Mm -hmm. My boss talks about the new rule. Okay. Negative. How to use simple present negative statement. Mm -hmm. She does she doesn't make many phone calls. She doesn't carry box boxes into the truck. Mm -hmm. Cindy doesn't send report to the companies. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have workers be on time. Okay. My boss doesn't talk about the new rules. Okay, thank you. All right. So as you can see, we have more verbs. And look at this. Here we have makes, but here ya no, porque tenemos el auxiliar. Fíjese bien el switch, las afirmativas y las negativas. Aquí sí tenemos la S, pero aquí no, porque tenemos el auxiliar. Si usted le pone la S, entonces eso está incorrecto y le va a salir mal. Okay. So, aquí, he carries boxes into the truck. Aquí está de esta manera, I, E, S, pero aquí está en su forma base. Teacher, entonces a los que terminan con Y, se les pone una I latina y se les agrega E, S. Cuando estamos hablando de las positivas. Sí, no todos, pero la mayoría sí, hay excepciones. Pero carry, que es llevar, que okay, llevar, sí es uno de ellos, que se transforma la Y en I latina. Sense, enviar. Ok, so sense, y mira aquí, ya está en su forma base, send. Helps, and look at this one, base form. Help. Talks. And look at this one. Talk. Doesn't. So we use doesn't for he, she, and it. Yes? Okay. Now let's move. And right now we are going to practice again. We are going to practice. So listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice with a partner. Okay, so let me read it for you. Listen. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week. But Katie is very busy. B -Z. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, okay, connector. Later, she writes reports about the production. She writes 
writes. La W no suena. It's silent. So she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She is so busy. And on weekends? Okay. So one is going to be Janet and the other one is going to be Cindy. But this time you are going to do more things. Esta vez iba a trabajar. Va a speaking, pero también va a hacer este cuadrito en su cuaderno. Y va a seguir las indicaciones. Indications. Pair work con su parejita. Read the conversation again. La va a volver a practicar. All right, read the conversation again to complete the chart. What is chart? Chart is cuadro. Chart with case information. Also, what other activities you think Katie does in the other days of the week. So what you are going to do is, okay, Monday, what does Katie do on Monday? She makes many phone calls. She writes reports about the production. Y va a poner lo que ella hace el lunes en la casilla de lunes. All right? On the box right here. Okay? And then Tuesday. Oh, let's see. Let's look for Tuesday. Mm, we just have Wednesday. Friday, okay, so that means que el, el, el martes usted va a inventar dos actividades que Katy hace. Okay, Wednesday we have Wednesday, we have Thursday, no, aquí no sale Thursday, entonces también va a inventar dos actividades. Friday, yes. Saturday, no. Entonces, eso significa que usted va a inventar para Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Con su compañero, con el que le voy a asignar. All right? So, we are going to practice. Si tiene preguntas, me las hace. Okay? Do you have questions right now? Is it clear the indication? ¿Está clara la indicación? Solo yeah. una pregunta, Peticha. Yes. Que se me cortó a mí la, la reunión ahorita porque tengo mala señal. Mm -hmm. eh, la indicación, ¿cuál era para esta actividad? Ah, ok. So, bueno, lo voy a asignar con un compañero de trabajo, ¿sí? So, lo que van a hacer es que van a llenar este cuadrito acerca de Katie, acerca de esa conversación. Primero la va a practicar con su compañero. Y después va a empezar a llenar este cuadro en su cuaderno. ¿Okay? Va a ser el cuadro rapidito, o sea, rápido, hace un cuadro, pone los días de la semana y empieza. El lunes, ¿qué hace Katie? Lo busca en la conversación. El martes, ¿qué hace Katie? Si no está lo que hace Katie, if you don't see any information, you need to invent. Tiene que inventar. ¿Ok? Si necesita ayuda, me, eh, me levanta la manita. You need to hands up. Ok, levantar la manita en el botón que dice pedir ayuda. Ok. Then, here we go. Aquí vamos nuevamente. Ok. And let me see. So, I'm going to, yes. I'm going to create the rooms. Okay, you have just around eight minutes, solo ocho minutos, después lo llamo para que empecemos a practicar acá y me van a decir todos. Obviamente todos van a tener cosas diferentes en los días que no está aquí en la conversación porque van a inventar. Quiero escuchar a todos, ok? There you go.
Oh, good evening. ¿Verdad que dijo que íbamos a hacer el listado de los días en los que los que no aparecen acá en el diálogo? Uh -huh. Ok. Dice que eh, Monday eh, este mm -hmm. But first you need to practice. Primero tiene ah, que practicar. Ok. Okay. okay. Eh, entonces, si gusta, eh, usted sea Janet y yo soy Cindy. Ok. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do the way weeks. But Carrie, Katie is very boos, boozy. Busy? Busy. Okay. Really? Who is Carrie? Kate? Katie? Katie? Yes. The new secretary is. Eso sí, no sé cómo se pronuncia, dicho. Let me see. Okay, let me see. The new secretary, okay. Her schedule. Schedule. Her schedule. Okay. The next secretary, her schedule is very thin. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Mm -hmm. Later, she writes reports about the productions. Mm -hmm. And what does she do the other days? Okay. Uh, on Wednesday, she says, Sends some emi emails to the book bookkeepers and um, bookkeepers and on Friday she arranges meet meetings okay. on Friday on Friday Friday uh, Friday. Ah, okay. On for Friday. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Like that. She is so busy. 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 Yes. She is so busy and on weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hoy al, al contrario, yo soy Janet y usted Cindy. Very good. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Bye. I have many things to do this week, but Kate is very busy. Busy? Yes. Really? Oh, he's Katie. Her schedule? Uh, the uh -huh. new the new secretary her schedule mm -hmm. is very thin on monday she make many phone calls later she writes report about the production mm -hmm. and what do she do the orange days on Wednesday, she sent some emails to the book book bookkeeper. Keeper, uh -huh. Yes. And on Friday, she arranged meeting. She is so busy and on weekend. 
Okay, excellent. Okay, so now, yes, start creating the sentences that you don't see. Okay, ahora sí, ponga, ¿qué hace el lunes? ¿Qué hace el martes? ¿Qué hace el miércoles? ¿On Thursday? ¿On Friday? ¿On Saturday? ¿And Sunday? Okay. Este, en Monday, she makes many phone calls. Uh -huh. eh, responde las llamadas, creo que, ¿verdad? No, make phone calls, hacer muchas llamadas. Hacer. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. Eh, sería en Tuesday. Uh -huh. Ahí nosotros la tenemos que colocar, perdón, porque no, no, no right. veo que esté. Exactly, yes. Este, no sé qué dice Erika, ¿qué podríamos colocar? Uh -huh. Eh, podríamos colocar eh, a play to soccer. Mm, play to soccer or play soccer? Play soccer. She soccer. plays soccer. Okay. I, she plays soccer. Uh -huh. And Wesley um, send so and send some emails. Send some or sends? Sends. Mm -hmm. Some emails to the... Hi. Are you alone? Hello? Oh, excuse me. Yeah. All right, Marco. Yeah, I think that the Jose is not here. Jose is supposed to be here with you, but Jose is not here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's practice together, Marco. Okay? Okay. Janet and I am Cindy. Um, but I'm not going to finish Oh, but let's mm -hmm. practice. Just let's practice conversation. Uh, okay. Uh, inicio. Yes, you, Janet. Right. Okay. Um, good morning, Cindy. How are you? Mm -hmm. Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? How is Gary? The new secretary. Her a schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes report about the production. And uh, why does she do it other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She's, she's so busy on, on weekends? Okay, she's so busy. Busy. Okay, Easy. now I am Janet and you're Cindy. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have I have money seen to that this week. But Carrie is very busy. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. He her a uh, chair. A schedule. A schedule is very tight on Monday. She makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meeting. She's so busy. And on weekends? Okay. So now complete the, the chart. Okay. Complete the cuadrito. Okay. Okay. Eh, consulta, teacher, eh, ¿verdad que eran dos actividades por lo que no tienen? 
Yes, two activities. Two, two, two. Teacher, y, digamos... Hmm? Por ejemplo, si nosotros queremos poner que ella hace deporte por la tarde. Ok. So, you can say, she trains in the afternoon. Como que entrena, right? In the afternoon, ¿verdad? Trains, yes, in the afternoon. Ah, trains. Yes, in the afternoon. Okay. In sería A and D, ¿verdad? Uh, go again. O sea, sería the trains are in the afternoon. Correct. Ok. Ok. La, una, una consulta más, eh, eh, 12 de media serían 12 p.m. o 12 en día. Del mediodía, ¿verdad? Ajá, correcto. Eh, 12 noon. Noon, ¿verdad? Noon, yes. Noon. Ok. 12 noon, yes. Muy bien. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you. Ok, three minutes, ok, three minutes. Tenemos tres minutos para terminar, ok. Ok. Very good. <laughs> no sé qué otra dice usted. ¿Ah? ¿Es el letter to him? No. ¿O español? Uh -huh. Ah, porque es parte de, la, de una de las funciones de la secretaria, ¿no? Traducir cartas y ya. Uh -huh. Ese digamos que es el ¿Mm? O jueves podemos poner que, hay, que tiene reunión con. ¿Con, con qué? Reuniones con. Reunión con proveedores puede ser. Ajá, son los comprobadores. Eso. Tuesday. Sí, Cher. Yes. Siempre tiene que llevar primero el she. She. El she. Uh -huh. she. Yeah. Ok, empezando la oración. Yeah. She. Ah, ok. Pero como está diciendo ella. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. She. She meeting. How do you say uh -huh. uh, reunion? Meeting. Reunion, okay. Meeting with. Uh, no, pero. ¿Cómo fue que le dije, Ivet? Eh, que ella tiene reunión con proveedores. O oh, puede ser uh -huh. proveedores o. Uh -huh. Sería, she have, she have meeting with suppliers. With supply, uh -huh. With supply. Yes, but remember that since it is, um, she is third person, no vamos a decir have. Have solo se utiliza para I, you, we, and they. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have. We have meeting. With the player. She has. She has. Has. Uh, has. Okay. Yes. Porque es tercera she persona. Has. Mm -hmm. She has meeting. Meeting with su supplies. Suppliers. S-U-P-P. Yes, suppliers. L ¿Cómo se R S. S-U-P-P-L-I-R-S. Se me cortó, no le escuché. Oh, S-U-X. 
U. P P. Sí. Yeah. L I. Mm -hmm. E R S. Mm -hmm. Su Supplier. 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 Yes. Ah. With supplier. Va, va una, falta otra. Ok, continue. Did you finish? Do you have questions? Yes, I okay. finish. You finish? Ok, Erin. Tell me. Ok. Eh, sería desde Monday hasta Sunday. Ah, Sunday, yeah. Ok. Bueno, se salió... Sí, ¿verdad? No. Okay. Es que, oh, ah, no, ¿verdad? No. No, es que yo solo me veo yo. Ah, no, ahí está. Ya la he visto. Sorry. <risa> ok, <risa> Monday. <risa> Sorry. Ok, Monday pusimos eh, lo que decía la conversation, ¿verdad? Ok. She makes money from calls. Mm -hmm. She reads reports about the production. Oh, she writes? She writes reports mm -hmm. about the production. Okay. And Tuesday, she does cleaning. Okay. She makes coffee for everyone. Okay, everybody. Every, every para todos? Yes, Así, everybody. Every, everybody. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Y, every, y everyone, ¿qué sería? Um, is like para cada uno. Mm. Y every, y every, okay. Yes. And, West, and Wednesday, she sent some emails to the book, book per, bookkeeper, al contador, mm -hmm. bookkeeper, y she pays the bills. Okay. Ella paga factura. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Tuesday, she takes a shower at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. She eats breakfast at 7 a.m. Okay. Okay. And Friday, she Friday? around Friday. ¿Cómo? Friday. Friday. Uh, Friday, sorry. Mm -hmm. Friday, she arranges making. Y she drives. A car. She drives a car. Okay. She drives a car. And Saturdays, she does gymnastic. Ignacia? Oh, she does gymnastic. Okay. Así es, ¿verdad? Gymnastic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. She drinks coffee. Okay. And Sunday, she goes to the church and mm -hmm. she goes to the park. Okay. All right. That is. Perfect. Okay, okay, thank you. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to call you back. Okay, lo voy a llamar ya. Okay, give me one oh, second. Okay. 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 Let's see. Let's wait for the other ones. I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance, but let's wait for the other ones. Let's wait for the other ones. Did you finish? Did you all finish? Marcelo and Erica, did you finish? Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay. Okay, let me see. I'm still waiting the other ones. Okay. So, what I need you to do, what I need you to do because of the time, por el tiempo, todos 
los que tienen la rutina que, que escribieron en su cuaderno, a picture, take a picture, tomen una foto, take a picture y la manda al grupo de WhatsApp. Take a picture, take a picture of your chart, tómele una foto o una captura a su cuadrito okay, y lo manda al grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, ese cuadrito tiene que estar terminado y lo manda al grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, so I'm going to take the attendance. Voy a tomar asistencia. No importa, teacher, la consulta, no importa que haya machones. No, así mándelo, como un celo tiene. Ah, ok, está teacher. Bonito. Yes. Yes. Okay. No, right. right now. Yes, right now. Ok. Yeah, do it right now. Ok, I'm going to take the attendance. Brian Antonio Castro Molina, well, he was having some issues with the, with the electricity. Okay, Christian Marcelo Ramirez Morán. Present. Thank you. Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrillas. Present. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Erika Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Oh my God, today we didn't have Franklin. Okay, Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. No. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Present. Thank you. Erwin Francisco Peraza Herrera. Present. Thank you. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Thank you. Johnny Ivan Argueta Argueta. Present. Thank you. Jose Enrique Siliesar Alas. Jose. Jose Enrique. Okay. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Present. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Luis. Okay. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Reinaldo Alberto Torres. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Present. Suleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Okay, so the last activity, the last activity that we are going to do today is this one. We are going to practice, okay? So we are going to practice with, okay, the following. Questions. Vamos a ver si nos recordamos cómo responder a las preguntas, okay? Number one, Suleima, help us reading and let's choose the answers. Yes, Suleima, read it. Let your English, that your English teacher get up early in the morning. Um, yes, to that. Okay. There are two answers. There are two possible answers. Select two answers. Yes, she does, or? Or no, she doesn't. Perfect. Very good. Terceras personas. Excellent. Number two, Tanya. Uh, do you know how to cook? Mm -hmm. uh, sería, no, I don't. No, I don't, or? Uh, yes, I do. Or yes, I do. Perfect. Next one. Um, help us, please, Irma. Uh, 
does your friend like hamburg hamburgers? Hamburgers? Two answers. Um, Two. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, we don't have yes, I do. No. No, doesn't? No, doesn't? Mm, pero quién? No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Or two answers. Uh, yes, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay. Number four, please, Johnny. Okay, Marta and Ben lunch at school. Marta and Ben doesn't like lunch at school. Okay, doesn't. Marta doesn't. and Ben, are you sure? Two people, Martha and Ben, two, plural. Oh, likes. Okay. Don't like. Right. Don't likes or don't like? Don't at, don't like. Martha and Ben, don't like. Don't yes. like. <gasps> B. Don't like a lunch at school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Number five. Uh huh. Marco. Do your parents drink coffee? <clears throat> huh? um, no, they doesn't. Oh. Uh, are, are you sure? No, they doesn't. Uh, Plural. Mm. Do we use no. doesn't with him? No, no, they don't. Aha, no, or, they don't. Or yes, they do. Perfect. Excellent. Number six. Number six, please, Marcelo. The girls. In downs like Jogur. Okay, A, B, C, or D? A, C. Doesn't likes? Are you sure? Uh, yes. The girls, plural. No, sorry, sorry. It's la B. B. Yogurt. Okay. Good. And the last one. Okay. So who wants to help us with the last one? Sally. Sally. Uh, don't eat meat. Don't eat meat. Are you sure? It's okay. Is Sally don't eat meat? Are you sure? Sally is she? Uh, don't. No, they're perfect. Is No, we don't use don with she or with Sally. Sally is their person. Eh, sería en eh, sí. No. Okay, let's see. Eh, Yvette, which is the correct answer? B doesn't hurt. 
doesn't it? Okay, are you sure? Sure. Okay. Now, Suleima, help us. Mm, a. Why it? Why a? Why? Por qué? Eh, porque el verbo to be, al tener un auxiliar, no cambia. No, perdón, el, el, ¿cómo se llama? El verbo. El verbo. Uh -huh. No cambia el tener el auxiliar dase. Exactly. Ok, and remember that cannot be don't, no puede ser don't porque Sally es ella. Y no utilizamos don't con ella, utilizamos doesn't or does en la pregunta. Uh -huh. Recordemos que el do y el don't solo util lo utilizamos con I, you, we, and they. Recordemos eso. Y recordemos que la S no se pone cuando llevamos auxiliar en las terceras personas, lo que vimos ahora. He, she, and it. Ok. All right. So, do you have any question? ¿Tienen preguntas o dudas? Questions before we go. Preguntas o dudas antes de irnos. Questions. No questions? Okay, so then you have homework for tomorrow. Homework. What do you do at work? What do you do at work? ¿Qué hace en su trabajo? Mañana al empezar, esta va a ser la pregunta que vamos a empezar a practicar. What do you do at work? ¿Qué es lo que haces en tu trabajo? ¿Qué es lo que hace? Right? Prepara reportes, hace llamadas, eh, habla con su jefe. ¿Qué es lo que hace? Al menos seis actividades que haga. Six activities. Utilizando lo que acabamos de estudiar. Bueno, el día de ayer también lo estudiamos. I. I make calls. I create reports, etc. At least six things. Six. Okay? Seis cosas. All right. So if you don't have any questions, guys, I'll see you back tomorrow. Thank you for learning with us. And I hope you have a good night. Just Irma, please stay because of the feedback. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Then the other ones, have a good night. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Good, good night. Good night. Yes. Con la consulta hoy tenemos que tener hasta la tarea siete. ¿verdad? Yes. Homework. Ah, okay. Perfecto. Gracias. Thank you, Thank you Marcelo. Gracias. Good Thank night. You. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Okay. So Irma, how are you? How do you feel? Bye. Fine, fine. Okay, so tell me, how do you feel with the classes? Uh, creo que hay cosas que sí me cuestan, pero igual caso que no tengo mucho tiempo en mi trabajo, por lo que hago, el estar revisando las clases que estamos teniendo, pero trato la manera de de robar unos minutos y poder revisar algo, ¿verdad? Porque me cuesta mucho realmente. Ok, me imagino, por el tiempo que, que tiene, ¿verdad? Que no es mucho. Ok. Sí, so, no. Bye. Um, ok, en relación a la clase, ¿cómo se siente con la clase, con la dinámica de la clase, con lo que hacemos en la clase? Me gusta. Bueno, desde un principio es bastante atractiva para mí. No, creí que íbamos a hacer así como que algo bien, bien, que podría ocupar la palabra como clásico o común, pero no, no, la, la dinámica está muy, muy buena, excelente, la verdad. Ok, muy bien. Ahora, con la plataforma no he tenido ninguna dificultad. No, no, casi que lo que más me cuesta es como el link que usted nos manda. Yo... 
Y bueno, a mí me serviría mucho tenerlo en, dos, en mi casa y en el trabajo, porque se me, en cuestión de momentos puedo activarlo y verlo, ¿verdad? Esa es la parte que quizás no puedo manejar muy bien. Ok, ok. Um, en ese caso, pero el link lo tiene en su WhatsApp, ¿no lo tiene? No, no lo, no lo tengo porque no, no activo el WhatsApp en la pantalla ahorita en la computadora, digamos. Mm, ok. Ajá. ¿Y qué diría usted el link? ¿Por medio de qué se lo podría mandar para que le pueda servir? A mí se me hace más fácil WhatsApp porque es con lo que yo trabajo todo el día prácticamente. Ah, vaya. Entonces se lo voy a mandar ahí para que usted lo pueda abrir y ahí lo va a tener siempre. Ok. Perfecto. Gracias. Excelente. Ahora, eh, el feedback mío para usted ¿Verdad? Es, en realidad, pues, eh, se nota bastante la participación bien activa que tiene, Irma. ¿Ok? Y eso es muy Gracias. bueno. ¿Ok? So, eso es muy bueno. Me gusta que siempre está preguntando, está participando. Siempre que le pregunto, pues, está atenta. ¿Verdad? Siempre que entro a su salón, que está con su compañero, está practicando. ¿Sí? Entonces, eso es súper bueno porque se ve el interés y el entusiasmo que usted tiene por aprender. ¿Sí? Ahora, eh, ya pues con lo externo que tal vez no podemos manejar porque tal vez el horario es muy eh, extenso en su trabajo, las actividades que usted hace, ¿verdad? Eso es algo que no podemos controlar. Sin embargo, las cositas que podemos controlar son las dos horas que estamos nosotros acá. Entonces, eh, básicamente es bien raro que usted se conecte tarde. ¿Verdad? Yo a veces le he visto que se conecta bien temprano y a veces unos minutitos veo que, que, que no está. Pero, eh, excelente que siempre está la mayoría de veces a tiempo, eh, está a tiempo, eh, está practicando, pregunta, etc. Así que el feedback pues es que usted siga así como está, ¿verdad? Que no baje esos ánimos porque en realidad... Eh, recuerde que ahorita le cuesta, como usted dice, me cuesta un poquito, ¿verdad? Y todo, pero si usted no pierde el ritmo, ¿verdad? No pierde esa motivación que usted tiene, créame que de aquí, cuando terminemos el curso, usted va a estar hablando fluida. ¿Sí? sí. Entonces, Gracias a Dios, yo descanso los fines de semana, entonces, bueno, los verbos que nos mandó, los imprimí, los puse en un folder y decidida que el fin de semana voy a estudiarlos una parte. Me gusta mucho lo que es leer. Me gusta también mucho lo que son conversaciones. Así que tengo como con quién practicar también. Así que eso me va a ayudar bastante. Correcto, Irma. Así que me alegra bastante que esté haciendo eso, que los haya impreso, ¿verdad? Y básicamente sí. lo va a estudiar. Recuerde que el idioma inglés es muy fácil. Lo que sucede es que, exacto, no tenemos tal vez el tiempo en ocasiones para estudiarlo muchas horas, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. sin embargo, cuando usted pueda, pues hágalo, ¿verdad? Hágalo. Sí, y aproveche. Gracias. Ok, y aproveche que le gusta leer, ¿verdad? Porque Así es... me gusta. si a usted le gusta leer, va a aprender también bastante rápido. Sí, vale. yo más bien creo que tendría que, bueno... Ya estoy perdiendo como el miedo a la pronunciación, que era lo que más cuesta. Creo que es lo que más nos cuesta a, a muchos, va. Uh -huh. Pero eh, como la dinámica es bien bonita, la verdad que ahí se aprende bastante. Ahí se va perdiendo el miedo, no importa. Prefiero que me corrijan a que no aprenderlo. <risa> es que en realidad creo que eso es la ventaja de ustedes, que se les va perdiendo como el miedo y eso hace sí. que vayan avanzando más rápido, ¿verdad? Porque no es lo mismo... Sí. Solamente escuchar y escuchar y escuchar y no practicar a que ya usted esté y que ni modo, tengo que practicar porque no hay de otra, ¿verdad? Claro, hay... Incluso en el trabajo me pongo los audífonos y digo a escuchar a veces palabras en inglés o me gusta mucho la música en inglés. Y entonces yo me pongo a repetir, no sé qué estoy diciendo, pero yo me pongo a repetir. ¿va? Está súper bien que haga eso porque eso le ayuda bastante sí. a la fluidez y a la pronunciación. Sí, sí, es cierto. Vaya, pues, Gracias, teacher. Bueno, un gusto y cualquier duda, a cualquier comentario, algo, pues hágamelo saber. Y por el momento, pues le voy a mandar el link para que lo tenga en su WhatsApp y se le haga pues, más fácil a usted, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Gracias, bye. muchas gracias. All right, so have a good night. Okay? Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.